I'm trying to decorate my Kindle and I literally love all of the stickers that I've bought but they're way too big like I got the smallest available stickers but like that takes up like the whole thing like strawberry shortcake she was supposed to be here but anyways we're gonna make it work I'm gonna see which ones I'm gonna put on My name is Em and welcome back to the start of a brand new 24 hour readathon vlog. It has been so long since I've done a 24 hour thon and I am so so excited. Me and my friends Sarah, Lucy, Bisma and Soph just randomly decided that we were going to do a 24 hour readathon this weekend. So that's exactly what we're doing. I'll tag them all down in the description box but basically yeah we just decided that we wanted to read for 24 hours this weekend because it is so hot, it is so sunny and we are all in our kind of like summer reading era. So yeah I'm very excited to be doing this 24 hour readathon. I think I already showed you my stack of potential books that I want to read during this readathon but the first book that I'm going to be reading I'm actually reading on my Kindle and also I just decorated my Kindle which you may have already seen before this clip or else it will be after this clip but I'm reading a book on my Kindle and I am reading The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes and let me tell you guys I am obsessed like I am so so hooked already and I'm only like six chapters in or something basically I heard about this series from Larry Reads who first of all I would trust with my entire life to recommend me books but I heard her talking about this series and I was like that sounds like something that I'm going to absolutely love. This series is like a YA mystery crime series. We have this group of like teenagers who have like these natural abilities. It's not like magic or anything but they're just like very very good at what they do. Like our main character who I'm blanking on her name right now but she is like a profiler like she can read people so well. There's another one who like can detect emotions. There's another one who's like a human lie detector. Like these are just like really Really, really good at what they do and basically they get like recruited by the FBI to help the FBI solve all of these like unsolved cold cases and it is so good it is so addictive I'm only like six chapters into the first book there are four books in this series honestly I could see myself reading all four of these very very soon but we shall see and also Jennifer Lynn Barnes who wrote this series also wrote the inheritance games trilogy so it's really interesting to kind of like see the contrast between those series and I do love a good YA mystery if it's done well so yeah that's the book that I'm going to be reading first I think honestly I might just try and read that until I finish it because it is a very easy to read book right now I'm making lunch so I'll probably read while I'm having lunch and then study for a while and then read again later because technically the readathon doesn't start until like this evening but like there's kind of no set time on it so it is what it is but yeah that is it for this intro I will come back to you later when I have more reading updates and yeah I hope you enjoy <laughs> It is now 6 p.m. I kind of officially started the readathon at 5. So for the last hour I've literally been sitting outside in the sun reading The Naturals and this book is so addictive. Like there's just something about it that just makes you want to like keep reading and it reminds me of when I was reading the Mindfuck series. Obviously they're very different because the Mindfuck series is like very adult and this one is YA and like more of like a mystery kind of a thing but it just gives me the same vibes because it was like FBI agents and profiling and stuff. See so yeah, I'm now 30% of the way through this book. Hopefully I'll 
be able to finish it tonight. I don't know if I will or not, but I will hopefully be able to read another good bit anyways. I am going to take a quick break from reading and write a French essay or two because I have a few things that I need to do. So I'm just going to be like alternating between study and reading because... I have to do what I have to do. My Kindle estimates that I'm gonna finish this book in an hour and 14 minutes. I don't know how accurate that is or not because I feel like that seems like a very short amount of time to read 70% of a book, but I'm gonna choose to believe it. So I will hopefully get back to this in another little while, but I'm really liking it and I think that you should definitely go pick it up. Hi besties. Okay, it has been a couple of days since I have last updated this vlog or like even opened this vlog because I don't think I gave you one single update after the intro. And I think it's fair to say that I don't think this is a 24 hour readathon anymore. I won't be able to do a readathon until after my exams. I don't know why I thought that I would be able to, but I am going to continue this vlog because I started it. I might as well continue it. So I'm like thinking of just making this like a weekly vlog, like continuing it into my exams and then like showing bits and pieces of my exams and stuff because I was going to do like a specific vlog for my exams and I was like you know what no I don't have the energy and time to do that because I'm gonna be so tired but I think I might just like continue this vlog into the exams so that you see like a bit of it if none of you care I don't know but it'll be nice for me to look back on as well to see my leaving cert experience but it will still be a reading vlog so update on the naturals I am still currently reading it I'm 58% of the way through this book now I don't know how I'm feeling about it like it is really good I am really liking it it's very addictive it's very like easy to read it reads like a tv show I think which is really really good and I know that like if I sat down I'd probably be able to finish this book in like an hour or two at most but do I want to do that I'm not really sure I did have like a couple of nightmares about like certain things that happen in this book and like it's really not even that scary like i've read scarier things than that i've watched scarier things than that i don't know why like this book is like getting into my dreams but it kind of is and because kind of now the only time i have to read is right before bed i don't think it's a good idea to be reading this book right before bed. I am still reading it, I'm not DNFing it, I will finish it and I probably will continue with the rest of the series honestly. There were a few things in it that I kind of wanted to talk about because basically there's a love triangle in this book but like why? Like Cassie, our main character, she's just gotten to like this place, I don't even know what it is, like this home that they're all living in, this house and there's already like the two guys fighting over her and like she doesn't find that strange she doesn't find that weird at all they've never really spoken to her like this is kind of like the first time they're meeting and like they're both seemingly like in love with her and there's like this unspoken agreement between the whole three of them that they're in this love triangle but like when did this begin when did this begin because it's so strange like she just arrived there and then they were like fighting over her but like they didn't even really know her i don't even think i'm explaining it right but basically like it seems like they just went into a love triangle when there was no like they hadn't even really met each other okay i got interrupted by the post i can't even remember fully what i was saying but i was saying like there's this sudden love triangle with absolutely no setup there was no moment where she realized that she may potentially like either of these people or both of these people she just came into this place this program and now she's in a love triangle with them but like there's also like other people in the love triangle because one of the other girls that live there is in love with one of them. I don't know. It's such a peculiar one. But like, I'm not taking it too, too seriously because already like this book in this series is kind of more of a, you know, you just read it for the vibes type of a book. Not saying that it's not good, but like, you know what I mean? But yeah, that is all I have to say about the naturals. I'm like 58% of the way through. I would like to finish it very soon, but I kind of want to pick up a physical book. And I didn't really know what book I wanted to pick up because we're currently in the middle of a heat wave right now. So naturally that makes you want to pick up like a summery, beach house romance book but because I only have like a couple of those on my TBR I wanted to save those for like when I don't have exams coming up and like I can actually enjoy them and like sit outside and not kind of be reading but like know that you have to do other things like I wanted to savor those but I couldn't think of any other book that I wanted to pick up so this morning I was just looking through my shelves I was like you know what I need to find a book that I want to read there has to be a book that I want to read here and I have decided on Good Girl Complex by L. Kennedy this book is set at a beach town I didn't know that but it is set at a beach town 
soon. I've heard mixed things about it. I've not heard amazing things about it. I liked the off-campus series. Like, I'm, I'm gonna give it a shot. So, yeah, I decided to pick this book up because it is set at a beach town. So it does have those summer vibes, but it's not one that I have, like, such high expectations for and, like, I want to save for, like, when I'm on the beach or something. I'm gonna start this one today. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to finish this book. I don't know if I'm even gonna like it or if I'm gonna stick with it. We'll see. But since I finished Happy Place last week, like, no book is hitting because I just loved Happy Place so much and I think I'm in, like, a bit of a book hangover from it. That is my update for right now. Good Girl Complex by Elle Kennedy. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's fun. It's, like, about this girl who transfers to this beach town to get her college degree. Then we have, like, this grumpy local who works there who doesn't like these college people coming in because they're like really rich and privileged and stuff. That could be so wrong but I read the synopsis once and that's what I got from it. Right now I'm going to go make myself a coffee, probably start this while I have my coffee, then I'm going to get straight into studying. So today's study agenda is to study for English paper one which is my first exam next Wednesday and then also study for home ec because that is such a big course and such a big book that like I... I need to do that and that's also on Wednesday next week as well actually. I will come back to you when I have more reading updates in either of the books that I'm currently reading and yeah I'll talk to you later. I want to show you this bookmark that my mom got me for graduation. So it says take pride in how far you've come, have faith in how far you can go but don't forget to enjoy the journey which is so cute and then it has like a little like graduation cap and it says 2023 on it and I think it's so cute so that's the bookmark that I'm gonna use for this book okay I know I literally just stopped talking like a few minutes ago and I was like I'm gonna go I'm gonna do all these things but I never told you about graduation and I kind of wanted to put it into a vlog so that again I can look back on it but basically last Tuesday I graduated secondary school the fact that like I'm at the age to be graduated from secondary school is kind of crazy to me but here we are I've now made my coffee to accompany this story but yeah basically last Tuesday I graduated it was very emotional it was very emotional and it was honestly more emotional because my mom couldn't go she had COVID so she couldn't go that was that was sad like that was the hardest part for me I think because I've not had an easy experience in secondary school I've not liked it I've not enjoyed my time and I'm saying this because I know there's this kind of like idea that it's just the best time and that everyone enjoys it, but it's not true. I know that somebody watching this is going to be like, yeah, actually I don't like it either. And like, that's totally okay. So yeah, I didn't enjoy my time at school. It was not easy for me. And the person that was there for me every single day was my mom and the fact that then she had to miss my graduation was really really upsetting for me but regardless of that like I still had the best day ever like it was such a good day so it started out like we had our last day of school on Tuesday as well we started off with a breakfast with our entire year and our year head then we watched our year and our teachers play in a game of rounders a very competitive game to which I think we lost then we came back we had a pizza we just like you know reminisced our year head gave us a speech and we were all sobbing crying she made like a 16 minute video of all of our memories from the past six years and it was very emotional like it was very very emotional to see how far we've all come together we finished at 2 p.m and the principal rang the bell at 2 p.m for us to like all walk out together so we all walked out together at 2 and like most of the school came out and like clapped and cheered and stuff for us walking out the doors and everyone was sobbing everyone was sobbing like it was a sobbing mess i didn't think i would be emotional but it was so emotional like it was so 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 emotional and yeah just to know that like you're never going to be in a classroom with your best friends again. You're never going to have those memories again. You're never going to have those laughs between classes or just free classes when you just can't stop laughing and chatting. And that kind of hit me. I was like, it's not even the fact that I'm going to miss school. It's like the comfort that comes with it. It's like the lack of responsibility that you have because you're in school. It's all of those things that I was like, I'm going to really, really miss this. I'm going to miss my friends. And I know that there's going to be a few girls that I'm probably never going to see again or never going to hear from again. Obviously, see not my friends but like that kind of hit me as well and I was like we're all going down different paths we're all doing different things and we'll never be in like the same place ever again so yeah lots of tears were shed on the last day of school but when I came home my mom had like decorated the hallway because obviously she had COVID so she couldn't really leave her room but she decorated like the hallway you can see the thing on my door there it says she believed she could so she did with a class of 2023 she made the day so so special and I will never ever forget that but yeah so that was amazing and then I got ready then we 
we went to the like graduation mass or ceremony which honestly went on for like two and a half hours but it was so lovely we went up to get our certificates and the last song that the choir sang was slipping through my fingers and that was literally the saddest song ever but then we like went back to the school for refreshments and stuff and then we went out out by the time like we actually went out out like I was exhausted like it was such a long day and such an emotional day so I only stayed I think like two three hours it was a very long day but it was a really memorable day and it was it was really really nice it was a really really nice day so yeah I'm really really proud of myself I'm really proud of everyone that graduated and if you are watching this in your class of 2023 well done congratulations because it's been a time you know like we literally had a whole pandemic in the middle of our education that's all I wanted to talk about on graduation I've literally been talking for 10 minutes so yeah Congratulations, class of 2023. Hi besties. Okay, it's now Tuesday and it's about seven o'clock in the evening and I have a reading update for you because I've decided to DNF Good Girl Complex by L. Kennedy. Listen, I rarely DNF books because I rarely find a book bad enough that can't hold my attention for like 300 pages. This one, however, managed to do just that because it was the most horrendous thing I've ever read in my entire life. I don't understand how L. Kennedy can write as though she hates women. I made it to chapter six, which is page 44. I physically couldn't read anymore because it was just so bad. Like it was just so bad. There was just so much like misogyny and I don't even know how to describe it, but like when we had like the like love interests POV, it was like he hated women and I'm like reading it and I'm thinking how are we supposed to like this guy? It was very confusing to read because I was like, why is this misogynistic when it's written by a woman? Surely you would think that it would be safe, but it, it was not. And yeah, I just physically could not read any more of it. And like, I had heard bad reviews about it. I had heard mixed things, but I thought surely it can't be that bad. You know, I read the Off Campus series. I loved the Off Campus series. I'm sure if I went back to read it now, it wouldn't be as amazing as I remembered. So I thought, let's give this one a chance because surely it can't be that bad. It was that bad. It was in fact worse. I know I picked it up with like not like huge expectations. Like I picked it up thinking that this is gonna be like a three, four star read because I wanted something that I could read and enjoy but not like love too much to like distract me too much. But yeah, no, I just couldn't read any more of that. So that is a DNF for me. I don't know what I'm gonna read right now. I don't know if I'm going to read right now to be honest with you. I may try finish The Naturals on my Kindle. Maybe that's what I'll try to do. I am going to a bookshop tomorrow because I want to pick up like some new pens for my exams. So yeah, that's my update for right now. I think I'm going to go make myself a nice coffee because I need to like wake myself up again and kind of like rejuvenate myself. Also, it's like seven right now. I think I said that already. At like half nine, I'm going for a walk with my best friend. Hi besties. Okay, I have just received two Amazon packages and they feel like books, but I know that I have not ordered any books. So I thought that I would open it on camera in case these are from any of you beautiful people. So I'm going to open these up. I'm so excited because I genuinely do not know what's going to be in here. Okay, I think I'm going to start with this package. I'm literally so excited. Oh my god. Okay, let's open it up and see what's in here. Okay, let's start it. I hate when this happens. <laughs> Okay, let's try from the other end. Oh my god, Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams. I have wanted this book since I heard about it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it literally just says, you are going to rock your exams and take on the world. First of all, that's such a sweet message, but I have no idea who this is from. It literally does not say who this is from. I hope it says something in the box from who it's from. Thank you very much. And yeah, I'm so excited to read this. I think this is the sequel to When in Rome. Like it's not like a sequel, I don't think. Like they're kind of like interconnected standalones, but I probably will read them in the order that they came out, just in case there's any like crossovers or characters or minor spoilers or something. But I am so excited. Oh my gosh, thank you so much to whoever sent me this. I'm going to open the box now. And if this is from the same person, hopefully, there will be a note in here that says who this is from so yeah let's just open it straight up okay let's open this one up okay so there is a note but again i don't think there's a name on it oh my gosh guys redeeming six by chloe walsh oh my gosh i love these covers okay so basically the story with this book is that i had the first three 
in like the original covers and then they took them all out of print they took those covers out of print and I hadn't bought this book Redeeming Six so I only had the first three this one that was now out of print basically is being like re-released in October so I would have to wait until October to like see what happens next so thank you so so much for getting this for me oh my god now I can finally see how the series ends because I was putting off finishing book number three because I didn't have book number four that is so kind of you thank you so much I wish I knew who sent it to me because this one just says congratulations on your graduation i'm gonna go put this on instagram to see who sent it to me but if you're watching this and you were the one who sent this to me thank you so so much from the bottom of my heart like this is the kindest thing ever but i am so appreciative and i'm so so lucky to have amazing besties like you thank you so so much to whoever sent me this i'm gonna go try find out who it was that was literally the biggest surprise ever but thank you so so much